Alkynes are compounds that contain carbon-to-carbon -carbon triple bonds. This triple bond is a very electron-dense region and should come as no surprise that alkynes have very good nucleophilic characteristics. We're going to examine the reactivity of alkynes and lucky for us, we're going to see that alkynes behave very similarly to that of alkenes. Before we take a look at the reaction of alkynes, let's go ahead and remind ourselves about the way in which HBr adds to alkenes. The important point to focus on here is that after our A sub B step, we get generation of a carbocation intermediate. Now if we take a look at the electrophilic addition of hydrobromic acid to an alkyne, we can see that it is very similar to what we already saw with alkenes. Since our electrophile, the hydrogen of hydrobromic acid, does not have a lone pair associated with it, we'll proceed through an A sub B step followed by an A sub N step. And finally, what we could see is that after our A sub B step, our most substituted carbocation is generated just as we saw with alkenes. And what we could see if we take a closer look at both the secondary and primary vinyl cations is that both of them have only two electron pair domains and will therefore be sp hybridized. If we return to our charge stability trends, we know that sp hybridized cations are the least stable cations. And just to emphasize how unstable this sp hybridized cation is, we could see that the less substituted primary carbocation that is sp2 hybridized is more stable than the more substituted sp hybridized cation that we see here. Thus addition of this bromine nucleophile will happen very quickly in an A sub N step. We could see that our end product is an alkene. And since our end product is an alkene, it should come as no surprise that subsequent addition of HBr to this vinyl bromide will occur. And this addition of HBr to our alkene is actually faster than the addition of HBr to our alkyne molecule, and the reason for this is revealed through resonance. Whereas addition of HBr to our alkyne molecule involved generation of an sp hybridized carbocation, which is highly unstable and must cross a high energy barrier to occur, we can see that addition of our hydrogen electrophile to our alkene generates a sp2 hybridized carbocation, which is also stabilized by resonance. Thus addition of our hydrogen electrophile to our alkene occurs much more easily than addition of our hydrogen electrophile to our alkyne. And after subsequent nucleophilic attack of our bromine nucleophile, we generate the geminal dibromide scene here.